Like you could do a lot. I'm I'm not not saying this in a disrespectful way, but I don't have most of y'all problems. And I'm not saying you got problems, bro. Sis. I think that's a sis. I'm not saying you got problems, but I'll give you some examples. I'm not solely relying on the school system. You feel me? So I'm not worrying about my children getting fucked by their PE coach. I'm not worrying about them getting shot up. I'm not worrying about them being undereducated because I'm forcing them into a system that I literally can look in the fucking eyes and say, this shit failed my grandma, failed my mama, and my dumb black ass finna go put my children back in the same system. To everybody with kids in school, no disrespect, but that's really how I view it. Nigga, it failed your great grandma. Nigga, it failed your grandma. Nigga, it failed your mama. Nigga, it failed your ass. And you, the wildest shit in the world is you'll overdress your kids so they could be fly bums when they grow up. And this is what I mean. The education clearly ain't hitting no shit. You will go over invest in book bags and fresh clothes to take pictures of Lil John John on his first day, only for him to be a more fucked up adult than you currently are the next 15, 20 years. And if you think I'm bullshitting, just go back through your four generations of your goddamn family. Check on your great grandma, check on your grandma, check on your mama, check on yourself. Your children gonna be fifth generation. And I'm not I'm not putting that on nobody's life specifically like i'm saying that to somebody i'm just telling y'all like I'm, we're gonna call a spade a spade that's what the shit is so sis there's a lot you could do uh from taking care of yourself y'all drop another one have i only said i don't know how many years matter of fact i ain't gotta say it y'all what does every family need what i've been saying since day one wow. what does every fucking family need i'm i ain't even gonna say it because i know some of y'all been rocking with me long enough y'all gonna be able to answer this shit what does every family need, y'all? Gold line guns. What is, like, in, in my opinion, of course, and, and of course, y'all, I don't know it all, you feel me? So I ain't acting like I know fucking everything, but I'm just saying, what have I been teaching? Stability. Absolutely, y'all. Guns, motherfucking guns. You need your gold, you need your land, and you need a lot of fucking self-love. When it comes to the land, y'all, they not making no more. So once the shit is gone, it's gone. I know a lot of y'all realizing that right now. Inflation kicking niggas' asses when it comes to these rent prices. Inflation, listen, repossessions and evictions is at an all-time motherfucking high. That should alert you like, damn, my nigga, fuck all that other shit we've been investing in. Let's get some land this year. Because I'm realizing, like, they snatching shit at a high-ass rate. But I can go on and on, y'all. But listen, you're going to need your land. They're not making no more of it. Carve your motherfucking piece of this earth out. Because if you don't, you're going to live a roller coaster ass life. Number two, you need your guns. You know why you need your guns? Because you live in a country that's built off violence. Why the fuck would you not have guns? You absolutely going to need a gun to protect what it is that you have. And I don't mean just guns from a physical. I mean mentally. Niggas got to be smart. Listen, I'm, I'm going to say this again, y'all. Like, I'm just going to give you a quick example. And I'm not knocking none of y'all that watch sports, man. Watch your sports, bro. Whatever your form of escapism, your vice, whatever you into, my nigga, do your fucking thing. So I want, I want to give that disclaimer first. But I ain't never seen you niggas go to no schoolyard and wild out the way y'all wilding out by the football team. I ain't never seen you niggas in the uproar, in a motherfucking uproar because your son's stupid as fuck at eight years old. I ain't never seen you niggas in the uproar because your son eating that bullshit ass food at that school. You niggas are really argue with another grown ass man in a barbershop about a sports team that your black ass can't even afford to go buy a ticket and watch. Nigga, that shit is puzzling to me. That is, and I ain't, and again, I'm gonna say it again, I ain't telling y'all not to watch sports. I'm just perplexed as how you niggas are more invested in what some other niggas doing with their arms and their limbs, and your son don't read good. Your son is headed fucking nowhere. His visual representation of, of leadership is a motherfucking loser. And I'm, and again, like, I know y'all don't like my delivery, but I don't care. Nigga, I done had loser times in my life, too. We all done done it. But I had, but the way I'm talking to you is the way that a nigga had, my daddy had to talk to me and tell me, like, nah, son, that's not what men do. Men do this, men do that, men do that. All right, dad, I got you. Say less. I grew up to be a nigga with a gang of children, with a gang of children, and we do our fucking thing these days. To everybody that's mentioning a catalog, all you grown ass non readers, I'm not playing with y'all. You All right, so it's two main things that I feel like people should be worried about in 2024. You should be worried about, hey, y'all, uh, this, how, this, how, this how hard I know I be going. I'm not even going to say what it is. Hey, y'all, uh, what is something that I've been trying to put motherfuckers on to since roughly 2018 that is full-fledged right now changing the whole world? It's something 
that is a part of our er everyday lives now. I got it in curriculums. I got them in my house. I done gave them out for free. What is something I've been trying to put them up? Robots, infinite, thank you, bro. Y'all, I've been showing, y'all, I still don't know niggas that got robo dogs in their house. I got two of them. I still, like, I still to this day, six years later, I don't know nobody that, I know the NYPD got them for sure. And I seen police got them in LA. But just actual humans who got robo dogs, who actually took the time to talk about things such as this and curriculums and whatnot, I don't know too many. All right, y'all, so that's number one. That's, that's something I feel like, and I'm not even going to go deep into that one because I've been doing it. I'm not, I'm not finna overly repeat myself again for the sixth year in a row. Been trying to put y'all on artificial intelligence to the point where we gave our free robots. I speak about artificial intelligence in three different, two or three different curriculums within this catalog. So number one, y'all need to pay attention to that. I know I've been saying it, but you need to pay more attention than ever. Y'all should go Google what jobs are already being wiped out based on artificial intelligence. I'm gonna give you a quick breakdown. Robots don't piss. Robots don't shit. Robots don't complain. Robots don't got some snotty nose ass kids. That's gonna make me call out. Robots aren't late. Robots don't bitch. I think I said it already. The point I'm making is this. I think some of y'all genuinely believe that that shit that's on the dollar or whatever dollar bill it's on, it talks about all men, all men are created equal in America. If y'all really believe that fucking concept, you are out of your mind. You have not been paying no attention, whether you white, black, or gray. Or gray. You, don't, you have been paying no fucking attention to where you live at. You know goddamn well we are not created equal, right? That's number one. So for some reason, y'all have this sense of entitlement that like, oh, I ain't going nowhere. I ain't doing, yes, the fuck you are going to go somewhere. America is business, right? I tell everybody, family is business and business is family. Let's talk about, let's, let's unpack the, the, the robot side and then I'm gonna get to the other. It's two things I want y'all to concern yourselves with and focus on this year and, and just, and, and, and not focus on like from, from a worrisome state, but focus on it, right? So number one, I'm gonna put robots in position. They're going to wipe out a great deal of physical labor that this company has to pay. AKA the overhead. I don't know if y'all, y'all, and I promise y'all, I shared this shit years ago. I said, hey, y'all, you know what? What a lot of y'all need to unworry about is getting your hands on robots. But if y'all looked up and drop one of y'all remember this conversation, I said, go look up the raw materials. Go look up uh, um, um, the way that they need to be maintenance. A lot of y'all ain't peeped that you could make money off this motherfucking robot wave without ever touching a robot in your life. If you know the raw materials that typically make up the robots, you and your family should go invest in rubber. Y'all should go invest in copper. Y'all should go invest in the different components that make up the fucking robot. I say this all the time. Niggas be worrying about being the head nigga, the big shot. No, bro. The head nigga still need medicine. The head nigga need water. The head nigga need transportation. The head nigga need, he need an assistant. So a lot of us be so overly worried about, man, I, I, I got to be a billionaire and I got to no. Nigga, you could be the bill. You could be the nigga that drive the billionaire to his meetings. You could be the nigga that come up with cost efficient ways for the billionaire to handle his business. So now you making a million. So that's number one, right? Robots are going to be a big deal. I mean, they're already a big deal, but they're going to be an even bigger deal. Here's number two, right? Got to break this Here's down. Number. I bet a lot of y'all feel that way. Drop. Now be honest. This 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 an honest honest question. Drop a one if you ever feel like. You, you literally just in the maze from your personal life to your progressions. No matter how many tax returns you get, you just still in the maze. No, no matter how many jobs you get, how many come ups you get, you just still in the fucking maze. So I'm, I'm going to say, number one, we got to take our accountability because a lot of that shit do be our fault. But a lot of it is just a, a, a systematic play. You're not supposed to figure certain things out in life. You're not supposed to have certain awakenings. You're not supposed to be self-aware. So the game is in like from the job market to college, to, to media, to social media, the game is set up a certain way to just keep niggas in a state of confusion. I don't, I don't want you too dumb. I don't want you too smart. I'm gonna sprinkle a little progression on you. You take three steps forward. I'm gonna pull your ass back 10. And that way I'll keep you stagnated for the bulk of your life. Like I remember reading this statistic many years ago, but they say like most men become docile by the time they're 30. They pretty much maxed out. They overly exhausted mentally and physically with life. And niggas just throw their hands and give up. I give you another example. In the current day with women. And ladies, I'm not knocking none of y'all when I say this. You know how many women want to live a soft life? But you know what most women forgot to 
adapt to or adhere to in the midst of seeking a soft life is the dues you got to pay to even earn a soft life. So this was scarier. There's going to be a generation of little girls up until the age of womanhood from fucking 18 to 35. That's going to be in a straight puzzle of confusion because her overall goal is a soft life. But because she doesn't know what, what it entails to actually earn a soft life, she's going to spend the bulk of her life looking for rich niggas, but getting fucked by broke niggas, getting tricked by scheming ass niggas. And then she going to try to make some plays and then she going to do it like, and tell me I'm lying because some of y'all doing this right now. Since you've been looking for your soft life for the last three years and you still ain't nailed it. Because in all reality, you don't even understand the, ph the phenomenon that comes with a man that does figure out the American way, leverages it and for his benefit and is able to financially hold himself down and hold you down by the age of fucking 30. But y'all don't consider that. And I know y'all don't consider that because media doesn't put that in front of you. Media doesn't, media doesn't tell you anything like, baby, you want a man that make what? Have you ever looked at the, the, the poverty line in the city you live in? No, because y'all just be on social media. Have you ever looked up the median income of your fucking daddy? His broke ass. That nigga ain't had no money. Who, what the fuck? Oh, I know what made it. These motherfucking podcasts, media. I just said it. Media and the internet. Really be making y'all think like, yeah, I just want to nab me a millionaire. It's nothing. I just got to, you know, I'm going to nurture. I'm going to be domesticated in a million. Girl, you don't know how fucking hard that shit is. That shit sound good, but that's why none of y'all last ain't figured it out yet. And, and, and I ain't got to go hard on it because you stagnated right now, sis. You literally, the last four niggas that you picked that you thought was going to provide that soft life was all poor ass niggas with no form of leadership. They dropped good dick on you. Great wordplay. You, you in the same motherfucking spot. Same for the bros. I said this the other day. Black culture is obsessed with the million. I be, I be, and my niggas, just with love. But niggas are, man, I got to get that meal, dog. I got to get that meal. Bro. Get your 10,000 first. You've never counted 20,000, let alone managed 50. Why are you talking about a million? I know why. The media, social media, music. Niggas just want M's. Niggas don't want T's. Niggas don't want H's for the hundred thousands. Niggas just want M's. My nigga, you're going to be stagnated for the next 12 years of your life. Because you're shooting for the M, but you forgot it's 42 other steps in between you and that M that you got to pay your motherfucking dues at. So we're provided, like, again, through media, we're provided this illusion, and niggas just stay in a state of confusion their whole life. Like, y'all, the American dream to me was the first illusion. That was the first thing they sold niggas on. Man, go on, get you a wife, get you a husband, get your kids, get your white picket fence, and get your dog. Niggas 40 years old. You ain't got a boyfriend. You ain't got you got you got stray dogs in your area. You ain't got no dog. You got a gate, alright, but it's it's on the further side of the it's on the left side of the apartment. Y'all, they niggas gassed us. Niggas like totally bamboozled us. But because we don't figure that, like we niggas gonna shoot for the stars not realizing, like, bro, your telescope don't even reach that far. You feel me? You like, you more so around the power lines. You haven't made it to even like shoot for them stars. Not saying you can't, not saying that ain't your birthright, but media has convinced you to believe that you just wake up one day and you be like, I'm going to manifest this here. And then you just going to manifest that shit one day. <laughs> nah, don't worry that way. So anyway, I just went in, I, I, I had to share that based on what I was reading. So check this out. Number three, for most businesses, the issue of location the issue of location choice now is driven by labor. Will we be able to attract white collar skills we need for unskilled and semi-skilled jobs? Will we be able to get it at a price that we want to pay? So this is why I brought up the point in the beginning of the two of the, the immigrant.